I knew this was the only city that I would meet fellow freaks like me, crazy like me and very queer like me. I was crazy even as a child. I was never good at studies. In fact, in my 10th standard board exams, I managed to secure only 48%. It was quite shameful. But my father wasn't even shocked. He said he was not surprised because I was never an academic. But if I came home from a singing competition with anything less than a gold, then there would be trouble. When I finally moved to Bombay, it was because I came out of the closet and I chose to leave home and move to Bombay. The funny thing is I was never even trained in uh, makeup or hair. I'd never been certified, I'd never done a course. I had uh, courage in my convictions and I knew that I could trust my ambition. My big break came when an award-winning director, Onir, introduced me into his film called I Am. I saw my name in big bold letters. It said, Director of Makeup and Hair, Elton J. Fernandez. And that gave me the motivation uh, that I think I needed. Today I know that I found success as India's spokesperson for Maybelline New York. But my largest achievement, I'd say, is to be able to hold on to my dignity and my self-respect. And being a part and fitting in to an industry and a world that I'd only dreamed of as a child.